once had a classical music composition teacher who always said, if you can compose a Bach chorale, then you can compose anything. The Bach chorales are a masterful series of four-part choral pieces that Johann Sebastian Bach composed, and they are used as a staple and a foundation for studying classical music theory and composition and voice leading and counterpoint all over the world. This is what people are studying. So this teacher had to study them extensively, and he kept saying, if you can compose a Bach chorale, then you can compose anything. Well, this is exactly how I feel about chord tone improvisation. If you can improvise over a chord progression using chord tones only, then you can improvise anything. If you can improvise over a chord progression with chord tones only, then you can improvise anything. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate soloing over Fly Me to the Moon using only chord tones. Uh, I have another similar video on this exact topic on chord tone soloing over autumn leaves. I'll link to that in the description if you want to check that out as well. I got a bunch of requests to break down in a little more detail how to go about working on this chord tone soloing, chord tone improvisation skill, how to get started because it can seem really daunting. And it is quite hard. It does take a long time to, to work on, but it is the gateway to, again, I think being able to improvise anything. So. For now, we're gonna talk about how to get started with this chord tone soloing skill. First, I'm going to demonstrate improvising with just chord tones over Fly Me to the Moon within one single position on the guitar while showing you on screen the exact chord tone arpeggio shapes, moment by moment that I'm using, chord by chord, the exact notes I'm drawing from to improvise with. And if you want a free PDF download of those exact diagrams, the chord tone arpeggio shapes that I'm using, just click the link in the top of the description or go to soundguitarlessons.com slash chord tones to get my chord tone arpeggio vocabulary pack as all the chord tone shapes you need for 12 different chords, which you can use to improvise over any chord progression that comes up in jazz or otherwise. After that, I'm going to break down uh, two different ways that anybody can start doing this from scratch at any level of playing. And that's what we're going to cover. So let's get into it. So this will be the demonstration. You'll see the chords in the upper left highlighted as I play them. That's with the play along app uh, thing that I'm using. And then you'll see the chord diagrams, the chord tone arpeggio shape diagrams flash on the screen as I'm playing them, which they'll go by kind of fast, but you can pause and say, well, what's that arpeggio shape there? And, you know, am I actually playing the notes? You can kind of check that. And those are the shapes you can download if you want to with my chord tone arpeggio pack. Uh, let's do the demonstration. <laughs> So pretty darn simple. I'm just keeping it simple. It's not supposed to be the most amazing thing. It's supposed to be a foundation and a starting point and a skill to track every chord, to hear it, to get it in your ears, to see and feel the, you know, quote unquote, good notes of every chord, the actual chord tones of every chord. And around that, you can start to do anything that you want. Uh, and so it's just quite a skill and really hard to get used to switching what's the collection of notes that I am thinking of for each chord as they go by. That's a really hard thing to do, but once you get used to just being able to do that uh, with any two chords and any two shapes, you'll be able to then apply that to learning new shapes or learning new chords or anything you want. And really one of the secrets for me is that I'm staying in one position and I'm following voice leading as much as possible. You'll see and hear that I am moving by step, half step or whole step, connecting between the chords to find nice built-in melodies and voice leading. So how to get started? This can be so daunting. The first thing I want to recommend and show you, and then after this, I'll break down in very detail, step-by-step, step, how to get started uh, from scratch. But the first thing I want to show you is, is we want to think on one string at a time or two strings at a time in one position with our 
kind of shapes, if you will, if the, the notes that you're going to play within each chord could really planned out. So like, okay, for this A minor chord, I'm going to play on the strings four and three, the middle two strings. I'm going to play in the fourth, fifth, or sixth position, depending on where the, the shape lands. Mm -hmm. um, and so, okay, for A minor seven, I have these three notes available. Da, 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 da. The root, the flat seven, here's the root, here's the flat three. Da, 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 da. Can, for the A minor seven, for that first chord, I can only play those. Okay, well, the same two strings when the next chord comes along, what are my notes on D minor seven? Um, okay, well, I have the fifth of D minor, the flat seven and the root. Okay, I can only play those. Okay, how about G7? Same two strings. I can only play those. How about C major seven? I can only play those. So I'm mapping out really simple, planning ahead. Okay, those are my shapes. And then I'm going to drill, drill, drill like crazy, improvising with just only those available notes. And you can just do four measures at a time, two measures at a time, try to work towards the whole tune that way, whatever you want. So I'm going to demonstrate, play over this, show you the shapes on the screen with just highlighted the middle two strings only. And to make it sound musical, I'm really thinking about phrasing, or sometimes I'm in anyway. I did a video on phrasing recently, link to that in the description, because uh, that's really what brings melodies to life. Uh, and so these two things, phrasing and working on chord tone improvisation is is almost everything we need to make uh, great music and have control over things. So let's play over this with just those two strings and see what we can do. <laughs> Okay, I strictly, strictly, strictly stuck to just those notes I mapped out for you and showed you um, and, you know, tried to do something musical with it. I'll demonstrate more of the tune now, still with just those two strings, the notes on those two strings that are within the shapes, just to demonstrate more of the progression uh, with those that same approach. <laughs> get the idea and I played one note uh, I think outside of a minor seven there and I'm able to th know that because I'm so aware of what I'm drawing from this is pretty cool this combined with phrasing you can become pretty um, so intentional with things that you can remember you know almost many measures ago or many ideas ago exactly what you played because we have such control over what we're drawing from and what the method is um, so I really enjoy that about it Okay, so what's the really, really step-by-step -step process for how to do this? Okay, step one, choose a song. Step two, choose a position to play in. You're going to play as close to that position as you can with every shape that comes up. Step three, find the chord tone arpeggio chord tone shapes from my chord tone vocabulary pack that corresponds to the first four chords. I'd say choose four chords at a time. First four chords in that position that you chose. Of course, if you can map these out on your own, totally fine. But if you want to use my resource that I made, use that. The next step is that you're going to choose two strings to play on. But here's the part to really dig into drilling and practicing because you can't just jump in and do it. So the exer this exercise is amazing. Play out of time, eight notes per measure and play chord tones only. Out of time, eight notes per measure and play chord tones only. Okay. So if we play our progression that way, we're going to go, okay, we mapped it out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then you're going to go to the next chord and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when you change chords, you try to connect to the closest possible note you can from where you were. Okay, so this out of time exercise, you'll go one and one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or you can count one and two and three and four and, okay, what's the closest note of in the, these two strings, D minor seven, okay, go here, one and two and three and four and, okay, next uh, chord, G7, well, I'm already on a chord tone, so I'll stay there, one and two and three and four and, 
and C major seven, one and two and three and four. And so you're finding those connecting spots and you're reviewing eight notes per chord. And you're going to practice that until you can do it in time at any tempo. Okay. So one, you're playing constant notes, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and, and you're improvising, you know, there's not much to do, but you're still, you can kind of go back and forth between any two notes that are, that are there. There's not much to do, but you, but that's the point of the exercise it just keeps you going constant notes in time, connecting, you're mapping out your vocabulary. The next step is to do exactly that with phrasing until you feel like you can make it sound musical for you. So here's A minor seven, but just like I demonstrated. Da, 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 do, da, do, ba, da, do, D minor, da, do, da, G seven, do, do, da, ba, ba. Check out my phrasing video for some really great advice on how to uh, get phrasing to sound musical for you. And the last step is that you repeat that process on other string sets, right? Other groups of two strings, other groups of, you know, maybe three strings at a time and other groups of measures, the next four, chords, the next two chords, eight chords at a time, and you just repeat and practice and practice and practice um, until you're able to do the whole progression with all six strings in that same way, right? With constant notes out of time uh, as eighth notes, but out of time, connecting by a step, then in time at any tempo, and then with phrasing. And at that point, you're doing exactly what I demonstrated in the demonstration. And that's how we get to working on that. And from there, like I said at the beginning of this video, you can really take it anywhere. Any method, anybody's crazy improvisation stuff works on top of this ability and this knowledge. Um, check out my chord tone arpeggio series to get some advice on how do you start adding chromatic notes? How do you start making it be weirder and play around the chord tones and stuff like that? I have a video for all 12 chord types and all of them kind of just go over the same thing, but it shows how to play outside of the notes as well. Also check out that autumn leaves chord tone improvisation video for some advice on that too. As I already said, download my chord tone arpeggio pack for free link in the top of the description or go to soundguitarlessons.com slash chord tones. I made that for you. I made that to help with, you know, mapping out that vocabulary. That's a resource I wish I had when I was kind of mapping it out from scratch originally. So um, I hope you feel that that's beneficial for you. With the way we broke it down today in this lesson, there's no excuse. Anybody can get started working on this. Yeah, it's going to take a long time. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it should be a brain buster. Uh, little by little by little, though, um, it, I mean, when I started doing this, it, it literally felt impossible. This is not something anyone can just do. It's only people that practiced it that can do it. Uh, so take your time and, and slowly start getting there. If you know that that's the direction you want to go with your playing. Let me know in the comments anytime how this practicing is going for you. I post a new lesson video every week. Next week's lesson is on harmonizing one melody note, a single melody note with 12 different chords, kind of a reharmonization, kind of cool composition harmony lesson. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Take care and happy practicing.